Hey guys, uh, today we'll talk about like how much you can save by outsourcing your IT project to Uzbekistan. I looked around this kind of content on the internet, but I couldn't find it like about outsourcing to Uzbekistan, especially the video format, right? So I decided to make this video, like short video, uh, so that, that you can get the general idea how much you can save. So let's say you are a US-based company. So this is the plan based on the US numbers, okay? Then Uzbekistan numbers. So you, you are the US-based company. You have an e-commerce website or you want it to have a new one or you want to update it or you were selling in the marketplaces but you have decided to bring it in-house to deliver more personalized uh, content, more personalized service to your customers, right? For example, like Gymshark or Warby Parker, let's say. And your business model will be obviously a D2C model. And let's say the project name is XYZ. Duration is one year. Planning, development, testing, okay? Everything is going to take one year. These are the employees that you will need. And please, this is the really, really simplified version, okay? If we go deeper, short video content won't be enough. It's going to take an hour. So, really simplified version. This is the employees that you're going to need to get the website. And this is the, their status, and this is the cost from the US side, okay? If you decide to hire employees for in-house, okay? But this is the side if you hire employees in Uzbekistan by outsourcing them. So, the, from the US side, IT project manager, this is the key person. Even you will gonna need him or her for the both sides, because uh, as a business owner, you won't have enough time or enough uh, resources to control everything by yourself, right? So, you need someone in house who's gonna control everything, who's gonna manage everything, and bring the result, okay, in one year. That's going to be the key person, and you will need them in both sides, as I said. Project manager, you won't need it in the US because you have IT project manager. Uh, you will need one front, one backend, QA, and UX designer. <clears throat> front and the backend will be on a full time basis because you have a one, one year duration. You, got, you need to product to deliver really fast. QA, you will need it at the later stages. You don't have to hire, uh, like, uh, Hire him for the full time. Uh, UX the designer, it's one time cost. Is, it's okay, like because uh, you can hire someone as a freelancers, and then they will do, deliver the product, right? And you can pay, and that's it. And then based on this design, they will start working. If you go in the US strategy, in the US style, it's gonna be 283k. This is the real numbers from Glassdoor, okay? Uh, but simplified version, because for each person, for, for, for each position, you need uh, per one person, like kind of. This is the Uzbekistan side. Uh, this is, if you need someone uh, who's going to work you remotely, okay, these are the example, like numbers, uh, which, is, which is up to date, is nowadays, today's 2023, right, February, you can hire people uh, it's as a yearly salary. It's a yearly cost for each position. For one year, it will cost you 164k, including your IT project manager. So keep that in mind, because if you delete it, it's going to be much more cheaper, much more cheaper, right? Uh, that's it. So this is a short video. So you can save this kind of money uh, if you go by the strategy. And I suggest that even though if you outsource it to a company in Uzbekistan, right, probably this is going to be much more cheaper because they have in-house developers. It's going to be uh, even maybe it's not one year, maybe it's going to be let's say six months for little amount. So consider it and go deeper on your research through Uzbekistan. I hope you will find more content about it. And on the like next video, we will talk about pros and cons of outsourcing a project to any country, okay, to India, to Pakistan, or to Southeast Asian countries, Eastern Europe, or Uzbekistan, 
and uh, I will give you more details on that pros and cons but on the next video for today's that's it thank you for your time bye bye